Hey there guys, it's Chaos Maelstrom time. Welcome back to more Donkey Kong 64. Sorry, no clever intro for you this time. In the last episode, we explored some of the dungeons around Creepy Castle. And in, in this episode, we're going to fly around Creepy Castle with our jet barrel, see what it has to offer. Real quick, before I forget. One of the more dickishly hidden banana bunches in this game. I know you're around here somewhere. Okay, well... First off, dickishly hidden banana balloon. Well, I know there's a dickishly hidden banana budge, preferably somewhere near the. I remember it's by the drawbridge. If I. Oh. Huh? Okay. Well, um. I remember a lot. With out of all the Kongs, I think I've had the most trouble with finding all of Diddy's bananas in Creepy Castle. I mean, I, I feel like that I've had the most trouble with any Kong in any world. I think Diddy's in Creepy Castle is always the hardest because no matter the case, whether it be a glitch or something, I think I think I might might be actually worse than Chunky with Angry Aztec, but I feel like I all somehow, somewhere, I always miss some. Uh, okay, there! I knew somewhere around here that there would be some. Now, I think those are all the bananas that are basically around Creepy Castles. Uh, around the exterior that I don't know of. Okay, also there's a dirt mount behind Snide's HQ. Don't forget. DON'T FORGET ME! Uh, I'm so upset they removed that from Xenoblade Chronicles. I mean, Tro was kind of cheesy and annoying, but that's part where the charm comes from! I missed the think you can take me and don't forget me. Come on! I know there's already an online petition to bring those voice clips back to their full glory, but... I don't think Nintendo ever... Anybody ever listens to those. Okay. Enough about that. We got Big Bug back. Okay, so... We're gonna have an easy time or we're gonna have a hard time today. Took me 10 seconds to get the first one. I think we're gonna have a hard time. It is unless I start getting a... Uh, combo going again because I got two combo back there come on I should have had you multiple times there we go. two combo three combo damn it lost my combo come on come on what the damn fly thank you two combo three combo Four combo! Ultra combo! Okay, I'm pretty sure that's not what, what an actual ultra combo is. I mean, I don't know anything about... That, that's Killer Instinct, right? Uh, well, I know that's another rare game. That's one of the... I mean, truth be told, I don't usually play more of the grittier, mature-looking rare games. Like, I've never played Goldeneye. I've never played Jet Force Gemini. But given the chance, I would love to play some of those because... You know me, if it's got classic rare on it, I'd be glad to. You notice how I said classic rare. Yeah, I I know where to draw the line. Okay, well, um, aside from that, let's see, what else can we do? You know, we could probably start uh, exploring some of the... Oh, wait, you know, actually, while I still have Diddy out, there's something I want to do before I don't forget. Or, before I forget. Don't forget me! I, I just still had that on the mind. I don't know why. <laughs> Even when it's gone, it's still remembered more than the actual... I really wish they'd bring it back. I, I'm, I, and I know almost everyone who's played that game probably has the same feeling to, as me. I mean, true, it's annoying, and, but that's where the charm comes from, is the annoyingness. Alright. Anyway, we have a little section for Diddy to visit right here. We can bring him into the ballroom. So, yeah. Now we have the chance to actually uh, take Diddy for a bit of a spin, see his awesome dance moves. All right, yeah, let's dance with this Kasha. Come on, big boy. You tried to, no, that's a get, dude, against the rules, try again and see what happens. Thank you. There you go. That is how you are supposed to dance. You're supposed to slam your club on the floor and let me hit you with an orange. And now that we've established that, we're actually in the ballroom. Alright, now real curious sight right here is <laughs> just the red carpet, but yeah, there's actually some stuff for Tiny in here. 
that's because there's a tag barrel right outside here. You can actually bring another Kong in here before the door closes after you open it with Diddy when you leave here. Which I think we're going to end up doing because, well, you know, 100% and all. But first things first, we have to kill all the other people participating in the ballroom dance. Because that's the kind of gentleman Diddy is, apparently. And now we have a similar case to that one cabin in Crystal Caves where we have to light the candles with the uh, clouds of fire from Diddy's jet band. So let's go ahead and start just that. I also remember there being a, a banana balloon hidden in here. We'll be getting to that in just a moment, but first things first, we're gonna light these like I said we were going to. Then we'll worry about the banana balloon. Okay, and I see the banana balloon right there. It's right in front of that uh, thing. All right, and we've actually got a bit of a tough mini game coming up. Again, not as tough as Beaver Baller in my opinion, but still, it can be pretty frustrating, especially if you get a losing streak going. Honestly, we've never had trouble with this minigame before, but you're about to see why we could have trouble with it. Yeah, we got another minecart mayhem. Okay, this is similar to the one in Fungi Forest. We have two TNT carts to avoid, except this time, we have to avoid them for even longer. Alright. So. Now. Again, the trick to this is, try to get the TNT carts to meet up in the same section, which I'm not having a good time with. Okay, and... Okay, just barely avoided it. Come on. Join up. Join forces. Okay, and that's my cue to go down here. Okay. Doing great so far. Okay, and... Take this one. Okay. Hopefully they won't have the smart idea and actually start splitting up. Okay, good. They're staying stupid. They're staying stupid. Alright, what, what are you guys trying to do? Tr they're trying to trick me, I see. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. You know why? Because, oh my, uh, Moshinelu. Ha 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 ha! Woo! Alright, never once! I don't think I've ever had a, a playthrough where I haven't screwed up on that at least once until now. Yep, I haven't screwed up on that minigame a single time. Okay. And we're just gonna uh, go ahead and fly over the Kasha, because why wouldn't we fly when we have the chance? Alright. And since there's a tag barrel right here, we saw that uh, monkey port pad. Let's go ahead and do that. Tiny, remember all those years back when I said that in Frantic Factory that I would take you to a nice ballroom? It's finally time, Tiny. It's time for our date. True, I'm not actually here, but... Okay, this Kasha is being a poor sport. This is what we do to people who don't dance properly. There we go. Yeah, of course I'm not actually here to, I don't know, dance with you. Just be the person to, I don't know, do favors for you or whatnot. But hey, at least we can do that. Now I'm taking you to a ballroom. I'm gonna do the next best thing and take you to a museum. The, yeah, the next thing I said I was going to do. Yeah, we also have the capability to bring Tiny to the museum. We actually haven't been in the main portion of this area yet, but we will in the near future. Also, there's a banana fairy here. Okay, and you're a fast flyer. Oh, okay, second time's the charm. Glad that didn't go as bad as it could have. All right, so yeah. Things are actually going pretty well. Uh, we'll go ahead and take Tiny over here, and... Now! This thing! Aside from being a room with a banana balloon and another banana bunch for you to collect, this room serves absolutely no purpose. This pedestal serves no purpose. I've never understood why, but... We have a pedestal here. You know, we're actually going to explore this area with Chunky later, but Chunky can't actually get into this pedestal. But, I take it this is the pedestal that Chunky wants so much. Okay, one more time. BRING CHUNKY PEDESTOOL! Okay, there. I remember how I also said I was going to take you back to Frantic Factory one more time, Tiny. Maybe have a race with 
that stupid car again. Well, guess what? I'm a man of my word. Yep! Whoa, blast from the past! <laughs> yep. Hey, Toddy, it's me again. I managed to get a hold of another shiny banana. But if you can beat me in another two-lap race and get ten coins, it's all yours. Okay. Unlike last time, we don't have the capability to cheat. Plus, this isn't a slot car map. This is drastically different from what we've had to deal with before. However, is it difficult? No. It can be a challenge, though. So that's why you want to make sure you utilize the R button and turn sharply in certain places. Also, there's almost... There's a box that I hit almost 90% of the time when I do this race. I don't know where it is. Probably coming up here. But I just remember that there's a box I'm going to hit like every time I go around the track. Also, you don't get many chances to pull ahead of this guy this time. I think that we'll probably get a chance later down the road, but aside from that, I just say, just remember to take those turns sharply. Okay, speaking of which. All right, well, maybe that's the box I hit all the time. I don't know. I did kind of flub that term, though, so. Reminds me of the Bo Brothers Flub. I don't know anything about the actual show. The only thing I know about it is what Chaka Conroy said during the Super Metroid LP. That's the only reason I have any knowledge about that show, but we're... I missed the goal! Hey, come on, Tiny. That was too easy. Well, I've never lost in that way before, but... Wow. Boy, do I feel like crap now. <laughs> I missed the goddamn goal. Have you ever seen anybody lose that pathetically before? Okay, maybe don't take those turns sharply because I didn't use the sharp turn right there and it seems that that one actually got me around it faster. So, do whatever is more comfortable for you. I think that not doing the sharp turn will actually get me around it faster. Now, the question is, are you going to rubber band on me or not? For some reason, I feel like he's going to rubber band on me. Which is not what I want. Okay. But more importantly, just make sure you keep up with the... Okay. Alright, I see. Uh, okay. Alright, I see how it is. I'm not going to lose again. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. You are not going to live to tell the tale. That's what Tiny tells the people. Okay. Go through the goal. Thank you. <laughs> and he pushes me forward a little more. <laughs> it's not fair. You can't have beat me and got enough coins. I suppose you'll be wanting my only possession now. <laughs> Yeah, well, it was never yours to begin with. It technically always belonged to DK. Because all these are still his... Technically his stolen golden bananas. Yeah, didn't think about that, did ya? Alright. Well, now that we've done that, I believe that just about finishes our date with Tiny Kong. Um... Actually, there's still one more place we could technically take her. But it is a place where she does not belong in the least bit. Those of you who played this game before and have worked in it probably know what I'm talking about right away. But I'm telling you guys, we're going to take Tiny to a place where she does not need to go. She should not never be considered even going to. Okay. So we got this trash can over here. And, yep, there's a tiny hole in the top. We've got to take Tiny into the trash can. A place where she does not belong. Shame on anyone who should put her there. She is amazing! Anybody who would put Tiny in the trash can probably lives in a trash can themselves. Looking at you, Oscar the Grouch. Okay, right away! They don't take away your ability to use music here. I highly suggest you use it! Wow! I can't believe that worked. I was expecting at least one failed attempt or something, but... 
Wow, yeah, there are some flies flying around. Uh, those are actually the same flies in Big Bug Bash, mind you. They can actually uh, fly into you and do damage, which I really don't like because usually I enter this area in first person mode and they fly right into your face out of nowhere because they fly around really fast and hit you out of your first person mode and it's kind of spooky. I don't like it, <laughs> yeah. That's why I prefer to use my music because they don't take away your ability to use music in here for some reason. But yeah, there we go. Uh, let's see, we still got... We're only about the 15 minute mark. We can... Uh, we've technically already visited the museum. So how about we go ahead and uh, visit the museum with the person who is actually supposed to go there. So we'll... I meant to do that. As I was saying, we'll take Chunky down here, past the crossbones, just smash you in the face with an iron. Smash him in the face with an iron! Because Tim says it all the time, so... Yeah, we have a museum now. And this is actually the museum we were in before, as I've said. But we're actually able to explore the bulk of it with Chunky. I like the museum. Uh, we, 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 soon enough we'll see the area where we explored with Tiny. Uh, yeah, it's held behind the glass and whatnot. We can actually clip Chunky into there, but why bother? Alright, now, something I like about the museum, you'll see all these pictures like the ones that we saw in the, uh, Gloomy Galleon of Captain K. Rule from Donkey Kong Country 2. Just little Easter eggs like that I like. Alright. And you're dead. Okay. And now, uh, right, we gotta punch the shields. I remember this. First you, then you, and then you. And that will give us a boulder. Which, you know, we can pick up with relative ease. I've already said it. And look, guys, it's Chucky's pedal stool! Okay, we've actually already established that that's the one behind the glass pane that you saw earlier, but... Still, a pedal stool is a pedal stool. Alright. Also, don't miss the bunch of bananas right there. Fairly easy to miss. Now, go ahead and lay this boulder down here. Oh, banana! Alright. Well, let's go ahead and grab it then. That's actually Chunky's first banana for the level? Okay. Well... Chunky, you're actually uh, a little behind now, so how about we get you ahead by ending off this episode by grabbing you one more golden banana. I'll meet you guys back over by the area where the four warp pad takes us. Alright, we got this little shed over here, and since Chunky has already proven himself by punching down things, uh, one more thing to punch down shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, you'll also see invisible enemies in here. So what we gotta do is, well, you guessed it, we gotta make ourselves invisible so we can hit the invisible enemies. I, I've stopped questioning it at this point. Anyway, and now we just fire around for a bit. However, be sure to recharge every off so often because, well, as you see, our invisibility runs out rather quickly. Right. Where are you? Oh, there are you. Okay. Alright. Okay. Will you stop being jerks about this? I just want to murder you. Wait. Tell me that was only one guy. That was only one guy. That was only one guy who was able to beat me up. Wow! Chunky, maybe you need to work out more. Just to build up your muscles. I'm not saying you need to lose weight. Because I like your shape. Anyway, there we go. That's more than enough for one episode. So, next time on Donkey Kong 64. We're going to take Clanky over here and see what this greenhouse has to offer. I'll see you guys next time. Laters!